Welcome, my beautiful Pisces. Uh, this is your November 2024 reading. This is going to be for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, you get a planet in the sign of Pisces. You know, some of you are just intuitively guided. You don't even know if you have Pisces in your chart. Um, first of all, I am doing opposite signs again. So some of you could be Virgo, like I'm a Virgo of Sun. Um, and that's why I do the opposites, because I feel like there's a lot Virgo can learn from Pisces and vice versa. Um, but I also feel there's like this connection, right? There's connection to our opposite. Um, so anyways, um, again, some of you may be intuitively guided. You know, I read through my spirit guides and um, I just feel like my spirit guides connect to yours. And I feel like that is why... A reading can resonate with so many different people. I feel like there's different avenues, you know, like different avenues break off and um, yours may go this way. Another goes that way. Just pay attention to your intuition. That's the best advice I can give you. Certainly feel free to ask your guides to, to give you signs of confirmation. Uh, many times a reading is your sign, but, you know, you can ask for signs within a reading. Signs within a sign. Um, you may be in love with the Pisces, platonically, romantically. Uh, same thing. Just remember, you'll probably get messages here also. So, um, just making sure my energy is calm. And it is. All right. So, we're going to use a few different decks. We're going to use Mother Mary for her words of wisdom, but we are going to do this at the end of the reading. I go back and forth. Sometimes I do it at the beginning of the reading. Sometimes the end is just wherever I feel. Um, it'll be the most impactful. And uh, intuitively, I'm just feeling the end for November. All right. We are going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper, really. Um, as many of you know, my readings are long, but I feel like they're exactly what they need to be. Like, I put no restriction. I know some people wish I would. Like, you know, I'm sure there's words I could leave out, but I feel like everything I say, it may not relate to everyone, but it relates to someone. So, mm, you know, um... Anyway, we are going to use the Romance Angels if love comes out in the reading. Um, Pisces, I don't know if I've ever done one of your readings where love wasn't a big part of it. But you're such a loving soul. Why shouldn't love be a, a major part of your life? Not the only thing. Um, I also feel you're very intuitive yourself um psychic like i feel like we're all psychic we all have these abilities it's just can we hone them in can we I, the answer is yes i know that we can um we brought back the i don't know why i'm saying we it's like i guess me and my guides um or our guides we brought back the major arcanas for November, and we're using these just like bullet points. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen some of the other readings, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, they, and sometimes they tell their own little story. I, I, I kind of love putting them in a reading. I don't know why I don't do it every month. I think it's more time than anything. Um, but they're back. They're back. And for your main spread... We're going to use the good tarot. It was really calling out to me, um, which is interesting. It was like, you know, like I have a table beside me. I have all my cards on it. And it was really buried. Um, but something's like, nope, get to the good tarot. Bring it out. So good tarot for you. And I am Virgo is your opposite, by the way. So I'm going to do Virgo after yours. Um, and I'm going to use the exact same cards. Because I am looking for synchronicities. I already see them. Um, I hope you can see them. And, you know, I'm not telling you to go watch Virgo's reading. Because, again, I know they're long. Um, but 
let's just say the title just grabs you or something, then pay attention to that because it may be a continuing sign for you. All right. Let's go ahead and look at that card. Doesn't want to come up. Star. Let's give him a litter shuffle. Not a lot of cards here. You know, it's so funny because I cannot remember if I split up a deck and just made this like, you know, another deck on its own or if it's how they come, they came. Um, because I'm just someone who very seldom, I don't save like the boxes unless they're like really beautiful, then I will. Um, but normally I just storm like all my cards, like, you know, in order. Anyway, so let's go ahead and begin. Pisces, let me bring the lid down. All right. Pisces, hmm, sun, that's kind of nice, you know, makes me feel like, um, right off the bat, it's saying this should be a good time for you, you know, the sun is, um, first of all, you're not worrying about things, like, you know, not, there's no shadows that can hide when the sun is out, everything is illuminated to you. You know, maybe you're thinking clearing, clearing, or clearly, you're feeling good, I feel. Could be the energy of playfulness. Interesting, I'm noticing two twins. It's almost like the mirror of each other. So, I don't know. That is the roar of Leo, by the way. But... It's a good omen when the sun shows up, especially as your very first card. The chariot. Card of cancer. Um, the chariot speaks about the potential of a situation, you know, or just like life in general. Um, it really carries unlimited potential, but there's a couple things with the chariot that we want to remember. It's it's really driven by our intentions. So it's our intentions to tell the chariot where to go. And I feel like the chariot comes in when you yourself have found, you know, you're feeling balanced. Doesn't mean everything's perfect, but you're feeling good. Um, because I feel like this is, especially with the sun coming out first, it's like the realization of your potential. I like there's a rainbow behind there. You know, perfect energy for the chariot to come in. What's it talking about? Well, maybe it's just a way you're going to be feeling. And um, I have a feeling we're going to start seeing, like, you know, what that produces. This magician, wow, that's kind of powerful. Manifester. It's like all the tools are on the table. Everything you need, here it is. Here it is. Looking right back at the chariot, like intently. Hmm. I feel this sense of being very clear where I want this chariot to go. But I also feel that that I can succeed whatever whatever the magician you know, it's like the magician is planting the seeds for the chariot but intently. It's like no doubt. 
Okay. Again, like all his tools are on the table. We have two cards. Three cards. Okay. So first we have the hangman. Interesting because it's almost like now the magician is looking at the chariot like give me the signal that it's go time. It's almost like something is holding you back from like breaking free to do something. Um, you know, the hangman to me is always seeking wisdom and it's almost like forcing oneself to stop until I I feel comfortable about moving forward. Mm, hangman's looking at the death card. Um, card of Scorpio. It is about transformation. The magician is ready. You know, the death card talks about a rebirth in one's life. Um, you know, a closing of the old and, and a welcome, welcoming of the new. I almost feel like the magician can't wait for it to happen. But maybe instinctively, I want to know that closing the, uh, this door... Um, well, I shouldn't say that because I feel like you, I feel that you feel confident in the magician's energy. What else am I holding? The strength card. Interesting, we have double Leo anchoring this line. You know, I see the strength card and I mean this in the nicest way, but I feel like there's something I've been holding. I feel like it's myself back from. Because um, the strength is about is about your inner, you know, your courage, you know, that you can only find within yourself. It's sometimes going through those difficult experiences, but, you know, coming out stronger. Interesting. It's like I'm seeing two halves of you, like one that wants this new beginning and one, I feel like wants it, but wants it, you know, is it the right time? The magician's like, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring in the good tarot. And um, it'll all make sense. I just know it. Right at this moment, I do feel like I'm kind of looking at two halves of yourself. Yeah, you know, maybe some of you wonder, am I strong enough to do something? Um, and maybe it is on your own. I don't know. Am I strong enough to do something? I feel like the answer is yes. Because again, the magician has all his tools laid out. It means, you know, you're not going to lack from at least a sense of wisdom. Um, and whatever this, let's say with the sun, it always feels like a new beginning, right? A new day. A new day has dawned. <laughs> It feels like, you know, I want to say delightful. All right, let's give him a cut. Whoa. I feel like your cards are being a little chaotic. We have the Page of Pentacles. Look at this. We have the Page of Cups. Interesting. These two pages together. 
we have the Four of Cups. Huh. The Four of Cups is definitely relating back to the hangman. Um, because the Four of Cups would talk about, you know, feeling discontent, bored within one's life. Um, but am I going to do anything about it? You know, in the Four of Cups, you can't see it here, but normally someone's being handed a cup. It's like coming from the heavens down. And to me, that represents like coming from the light. Well, your very first card is the light. Um, and it really is about using your spiritual discernment when it comes to, do I accept this cup? And that may be something that some of you are wrestling with right now. Interesting, I see these two pages um, right before the Four of Cups. And they feel connected to this side, right? The sun, the chariot. But then the four of cups is connected to like the hangman, the death card. And the strength card, can I do it? You know, it's like this cup being offered and then you are like, what do I do? What do I do? <clears throat> hmm. You know, the Page of Pentacles to me represents a few different things. You know, it kind of feels like this right now is two people. Um, maybe in their younger years, especially with the sun above that. Um, However, um, what was I going to say? So a page can represent some of the younger time. I feel like a page is also energy that's in the atmosphere. I could talk about these two people both being in each other's atmosphere. Um, but then I feel like the page of pentacles is also a reminder that like this, you know, life that you're learning that you're growing, right? That you are finding courage, that you're learning to close doors. You, you know, you're you're picking it up intuitively, instinctively, like, mm, and now I just have to believe in that, trust that. If, if I so choose. If I so choose. We've got cards all over the table. So, first we have the Magician again. Hmm, right next to that Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And then look at this. Wow. First of all, the King of Pentacles, the Queen. First of all, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Six of Swords. And look at this. I wasn't kidding when I said in the Four of Cups, you're being offered a cup. Here it is. Here it is. This is the Ace of Cups. Interesting. We have the page, the queen, and the king of pentacles. And now we have the ace of cups. And, you know, this, is not, this isn't about, like, you being, like, this has to be an earth sign. Though, again, can be your opposite house, you know? Like, you feel it in that way. Or it comes about in that way. But anyways, this is very like-minded energy, and I feel like this page of uh, Pentacles is either this queen or this king. And I feel you're the other. You know, I feel like you're the page of cops. And, you know, what's below that right now? The Six of Swords. So, whatever the hangman has like, you know, whatever reason the hangman put a pause in the action, let's say, 
he was dealing with something toxic. And you have to say that because, you know, Six of Swords means that I just, you know, dealt with, not just dealt with, but left, ended. Um, you know, energy that was toxic to me in whatever way, you know, because I could be toxic to myself. Doesn't always have to be another person. Um, because I feel like you have so much so say, if that makes sense, then I don't know, maybe give yourself credit for it. So the Six of Swords uh, means that you, you must have had this realization right, that you've realized something or someone or, you know, an energy or your thoughts have become toxic and you put an end to it. Six of Swords, you're leaving it, you know, it's like, bye-bye, you're putting it in the past. And look what opens up as soon as you do that, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> I mean... We have the Queen of Fire, Queen of Action, right under the Magician. You know, this is a queen who, if she feels passionate about, like if something passionate comes across to her life, um, she's going to explore it. Like, even, you know, I feel like she's a fear, like she doesn't let fear um, get in the way of, you know, something new that may come her way. This is someone who does move according to her passions, her desires. And, you know, I call her my queen of action. I do feel like this is you. Especially with the magician right above it. Again, it's like your power. This power you have that I don't know that you recognize that you have. It almost feels like simply I got to take a chance. And, you know, maybe that death card, that closing of a door, you know, maybe it's harder than it looks. You know what I mean? Um, because strength card is after it. So, you know, in a way, by closing that door, it gives you a sense of courage. So it probably wasn't easy. But that doesn't mean that it still didn't need to happen. I mean... Again, it's up to you. We have, look at this, the Knight of Cups. Unexpected Cup of Fulfillment. Well, we already see the Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups mirroring the King of Cups, or the King of Pentacles over here. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Moving into the King of Pentacles, and now the King of Pentacles mirroring the Knight of Cups. You know, it almost feels like this King, and now it can be a Queen. We have both the King and the Queen, but I feel like the Queen is on this path. Like, you know, I'm saying the queen, it can be masculine or feminine, but I feel like one, let's just say one feels like they're on a path, which does feel more of the people that are here where you're trying to make a decision. You know, you're seeking wisdom about the potential closing of a door. And um, it's something that's like lies within you. You know, I almost feel like there's no way around that, but. I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like I'm repeating the story again, but um, it just feels like if I, I don't know, I guess close that door because I feel like with the four of cups, 
you're not that happy anyway. And in the Four of Cups, a cup is being offered. Well, the cup is right below it. But it comes in an unexpected time. You know, it may come, it may come. Like, this cup may reach you while you're still, like, you know, in the hangman death card energy. And maybe some of you, it's like, you know that if you accept this cup, that there probably is a door that, that it almost feels like it would have to close. So then that decision, but I feel like if I do close that door, then I feel like I move <clears throat> to the other side of the table, which just feels like, you know, fun and playful and romantic and, and, you know, the light, the illumination, um, the playfulness, you know, the love. And this queen may not even be seeking that. But then here is this knight of cups. So again, the queen may be having like this moment where, you know, I'm not feeling great about my life. And then maybe this king, I don't know, changes that day. Look at this with the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Justice underneath that, you know, it's interesting because like Usually we get the ten of cups. I'm like yay ten of cups. However, something made me feel like Like is this something I want to celebrate and then I look underneath it and justice is there So it may be cutting ties to someone that you know maybe you live with or you were in a relationship with, maybe once there was love. But here's the thing, you know, I'm not trying to talk you into anything because, again, I feel like you're already discontent. You know, you're in that that lacking mode. And I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and start at the beginning. But, you know, we're reading it as a whole. So we open the reading with the beautiful energy of the sun and then the unlimited potential of the chariot with the magician looking right on, you know, having full awareness. Um... Interesting. Five of Pentacles. Mm. Change. You know, I feel like if I'm being honest that for those who, let's just say, Something's coming to an end. There's no way do I feel like it's it's like all roses and rainbows after that. I do feel like there's this period of time where, you know, it's almost like recollecting oneself. Um, and Five of Pentacles can definitely talk about a period of time where it does feel a little difficult. Now, the good thing about the Five of Pentacles, though, it does, you know, it signifies a change. So does the Death card. Um, but I often feel in the Six of Pentacles, I'm really heading to, a, you know, closer and closer to a soul family. And sometimes it takes, like, these difficult changes, even towers that, can seem like abrupt at the time but down the road it like it makes sense because if that didn't happen and this couldn't have happened 
You know what I mean? And if this didn't happen, well, this wouldn't have happened. So instead of like looking at it, you know, it's almost like it's a milestone. Hmm. But temporarily, it's difficult. You know, it's interesting that the Page of Pentacles is right there also. So I feel like it's something that uh, that was available to me to learn at the same time, though. And you think about where the Five of Pentacles is moving to, the Six of Pentacles, empathy, compassion. You know, but a lot of times it's other people being that way with you. And it kind of lets you, you know, believe in mankind again. People, you know, in that there is goodness. Hmm. All right. We have the six of wands. Interesting. So that's the energy of being victorious, successful, you know, especially coming with the chariot. Um, in the six of wands, I often feel like this is like you on a platform um, where, you know, maybe I'm talking about my experiences, what I've been through, and other people are really looking up to you. You know, you don't have to be talking. And like, I, I hate to put a limit on it. I just feel like it's an energy where other people really are looking up to you because of the things and the actions that you've taken. So who knows, maybe, you know, along this road, somewhere, somehow, you're talking about it, you're writing about it. Why? Because you've learned from it. That's what the Page of Pentacles is saying, like, especially with the sun above there. You know, whatever, even though the Five of Pentacles is difficult, first of all, I feel like it gives you this courage that I feel like once you have that, it can't ever go away. So, sometimes our most difficult experiences become, you know, we become the teacher to others who are going through it. So, I don't want to put any limit on this. You know, but I'm looking at it, it's also mirroring a Six of Swords, so that, you know, wherever the toxicity lied, it's, it's you also... First of all, overcoming it. So when you're saying goodbye to the toxicity, you mean it. Um, but then again, you have learned from it. Mm, look at this, Nine of Pentacles. Wow. That is successful self-employment, number one. You know, this reading can talk about, like, things that you know, that you yourself may be holding yourself back from doing. Um, and it can be based on, like, you know, outside noise. But I feel like ultimately this is coming down to you because this really talks about successful self-employment. You have two cards back-to-back -back that speak about success. And in the Nine of Pentacles, like, you are the sole benefactor of this material harvest but it's it's coming through your work but yet i feel like there's a real interest in it in the same time so i i kind of feel like don't be surprised if like your past experiences whether it be soon or down the road um you know they come back in a way where you're using them. I don't know if using is the right word. It just feels like my life is changing. But it's changing in a way that feels somewhat unexpected. But yet good. You know, I like the Nine of Pentacles. If, um, let's say, I was in this Ten of Cups. And... Um, You know, even if love has died, it's still not easy to make that change. But I feel like the Nine of Cups, or the Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry, is talking about, like, someone who feels 
very good standing on their own two feet. Almost like freedom will feel good. Freedom to do what it is you want to do, create what it is you want to create, you know, unencumbered, like without like anyone in your ear type of noise. You know what I mean? It's like where you're able to focus and then create and then be successful. But it all kind of feels meant to be, to be honest. But it doesn't guarantee us. Right? It's interesting. She's got this little birdie, like, whispering in her ear. It almost feels like, you know, your spiritual team. So it's like, you find this inner courage. I feel like everything changes. I also find it interesting that the Nine of Pentacles coming over the Four of Cups. Um where sometimes I feel like it's important to understand that, you know, sometimes the journey, the whole journey, or at least let's say this chapter, it may start where, you know, it's me first, you know, building success first, feeling independent first, you know, feeling strong on my own two feet first. And then when I'm in that energy, you know, this Knight of Cups, boom, unexpected cup of fulfillment, fulfillment. Well, here's this Ace of Cups, but it feels like it's happening after the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel like we don't want to take away the importance of where you've been, what you've overcome, and what you're able to do. This we have the chariot again. How interesting! A chariot's coming right over the magician, and the magician is looking right over the chariot right there. You know what else I like is first of all again that nine of pentacles, which can talk about singular energy, but also success. Don't forget that. Um. Yet yeah, here's this hangman. Um. And then this chariot shows up. So it's like, you know, whatever pause there was in the action, now it's like go time. The chariot is like, means now there's movement. It means a door has been closed. Another door is opening. I like that the chariot's coming over the magician because, again, I'm not putting, like, limits upon it. Like, I'm just going to allow my imagination to, like, go wild. Right? I'm not putting restrictions on it either. And, you know, it feels like something has changed in me. All right. Well, look at this. Then we have the Eight of Cups. You know, probably a really important energy here. Because the Eight of Cups is, you know... Looking within one's emotional house, the cups that have been knocked over, um, you know, certain cups we thought were like, ah, uh, this is the end, but then a new cup comes in, you know what I mean? Because they do feel like there's different levels to love, you know, different loves at different ages. Um, but this is like walking away from like emotional losses. And putting it behind us. This person is heading to the Nine of Cups, which is inner harmony. So, you know, the importance tells you, you know, it tells you why it's important so that you can find this inner harmony. I mean, how great if you, let's say, are about to fall in love and you have this sense of inner harmony and this sense of independence already. And maybe you're not quite there, but that's okay. You know, the Eight of Cups means that you are um, I feel like you're allowing yourself to have this new beginning because that's really what eight stand for. All right, let's keep going.
We have two magicians and two chariots. I point that out because they're both attached to, like each of them, each magician has a chariot attached to them. So it could be two different people's journey, so to speak. But there may be some similarities. Hmm. Well, hello, lovers. Lovers. Uh, first of all, it's a card of Gemini. It is, the meaning of it is the head of a heart decision. I could see that. Um, but to me, it also represents chemistry. I feel like it talks about, you know, in a way, I feel like it's talking about these two pages. And I feel like this is energy of someone that I can feel. So there must be some type of soul connection because I feel like I can feel their energy even before, you know, it's like here is this Ace of Cups, but in a way I'm feeling it. Maybe I don't know what it is, what it means, but there's something in me that's just like, oh, I just feel it. I mean, right over that king. We have the Ten of Wands over the Six of Swords. You know, what that tells me is whatever energy that is, you know, at this point, I feel like in the past, if I so allow it, or, you know, if it's something happened against my will, so to speak, um, there's still, there's something to learn from it. And I feel like, you know, this is about the potential of where you're going and what can be and holy crap, like there's a lot. But it's important that you yourself recognize that. You know, and it feels like after this Ten of Cups. Like, you know, if this is anything to do with love, like, don't stop believing in love. Because, listen, I feel like, first of all, the Knight of Cups talks about unexpected. So I can't really plan for it. But what I can do, you know what I like? Is I feel like you, yourself, like, you're feeling stronger. Um... Maybe you are creating something or you're moving up in life or whatever it may be. Like I feel like you're starting to see the fruits of your labor or you will. You know, if you ask that question, can I be successful? Nine of Pentacles says, if you, it, yes, you can be. Just put your focus there. But I feel like it's something that would already intrigue you, so to speak. You know, and maybe in that energy, I'm better able to, like, look back and understand, you know, and really clear up. Ten of Wands means, you know, something like there's a lot of responsibilities in that energy. And everything is on your shoulders. I often feel like it just feels like it's too much. And this is you leaving that energy. So, again, this is energy of the past, or it could be. We have, well, hello, Queen of Pentacles, again, now, right over the Ace of Cups. How interesting. You know, Pisces, I feel like, look at yourselves as Pentacles in this reading. We have the Star. Well, we saw the star, like, at the very beginning of the reading, though, um, it didn't become part of it. Now it's out. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. 
um, Cardiff Aquarius. Coming here for the Queen of Wands. I like that. You know, I like that also with the Queen of Pentacles right there. Because it's like... First of all, I feel like, wow, what a... Like, what success I feel like you could have within your... Let's just say creative house. If you so choose... And I feel like if there's something that you've been wishing for, I feel like you can start like you, you like start moving towards it. Believe it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like there's an opportunity for it to come about. And again, I may not even be thinking of love. I may be thinking about Again, building up these pentacles. It's important. I can take care of myself. All right. We have the five of swords. Interesting. Over this night of cups. But look at this. Then we have the knight of cups. Coming to the death card. Interesting. What's going on here? I don't know. It almost feels like like a second time around. Hmm. I feel like we just came to a twist. And you know, first the Knight of Cups brings out the Five of Swords. So it definitely means somewhere along the line, you know, you've dealt with some toxic energy within, let's just say, love, emotional situations. You have the Eight of Cups right above that. So then comes out the Knight of Cups again, but then it's met by the Death card. For some of you, it could simply mean Scorpio. But something is making me wonder, is this someone who's returning? You know, maybe it's from this page's energy. Like going back to these two pages. Maybe their first time around. You know. Like I think of Sam and I who were both Virgos. You're opposite. Um, you know, we were together when we were teenagers. But then we broke up. And went and lived our own lives separately. You know what I mean? And then... 40 years after the fact, um, in one of those days that weren't so great, my phone rang and it was him. And now we live together. So you just never know. It's the only reason I'm bringing it up. Um, okay. Instead of sitting here wondering, I want to look at that five of swords. Um, you know, here's the thing. I do kind of feel interesting. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. With the Ten of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. And we have the King of Pentacles with the Lovers over here. It almost feels like another time around. You know, maybe I was a page. You know, interesting, because now I'm looking at this Five of Pentacles, and it's half of this, the Ten of Pentacles. But again, I was a page, you know, not a king. So it would make sense that my pentacles be at a five. Yeah. I just feel like something, you know, something went on. And listen, maybe one really 
first first of all, I feel like there's it's talking about love that never died because this Ace of Cups has a queen right over it. And this king, when he thinks about this queen, it's through the lover's energy. It's almost like trying to connect and maybe being successful. You know, truth be told, I feel like, in a way, I feel like both really want this. Hmm. So let's just say, if there were issues with this king of the of the past, I feel like this king has evolved, has grown up, and that's why I feel like younger and now current energy. All right, I want to look at the deck card. Look at this, we have the hierophant. I feel like this is someone guiding you like this is spiritual spiritual team helping to guide love helping to guide this queen and king together and it does feel spiritual and not just guiding these two together but also helping you like feel good within your own life And even though with this king, there could have possibly been, you know, something that didn't go right back then. I feel, I still feel there's a connection to someone right now who, um, you know, maybe I became involved with. You know, I think of like Sam and I, he, he went on to marry, I went on to marry. Neither of our marriages worked out. Um... You know what I mean? And for some of you, that may be an energy you're going through right now. But I do feel like this is energy of like your spiritual team and particularly someone, you know, someone, um, someone special. Let's just put it that way. You know, I feel like Pisces, you simply, you got to follow your intuition, follow your instincts. You know, I feel like you know what it is that you want. Now you just got to have to make the decision. Do you, you know, take those action steps? I feel like if the answer is yes, then I feel like you might just be surprised, like where your life ends up. And, not, and I'm not just talking about love. I'm talking about you being really satisfied. You know, and again, the energy of other people like looking to you or maybe even coming to you because again, you've been there, you've done that. Who better than a beautiful Pisces heart to help, you know, emotion, when, especially when someone is dealing with something emotional. You know, it's saying that this queen has found this emotional clarity. So that's been had. And it's saying that same queen is sitting over this ace of cups, which we know is attached to this king. And here he is again, attached to the ten of pentacles. You know, the ten of pentacles to me, first of all, I love the nine of pentacles first. Right, this is you. This is you benefiting from whatever work you're doing. Like you're the benefactor of that. But then it moves from the nine to a ten. And I never feel like in a ten you're alone. I feel like you're with someone. And I often feel, and maybe it's the Virgo in me, I feel the Ten of Pentacles, like this is the energy I'd want to see because I feel like it stands for loyalty. 
I feel like it stands for a house that can truly take root. And I mean, like, you know, forever. And, um, listen, maybe it took us time to find each other, but don't, don't be like, you know, woe is me. I feel like don't, don't neglect or don't neglect, what's the word I'm trying to say? You know, your experiences that you've been through have taught you. And that's something to be proud of. You know, this sense of courage that you're able to carry. You know, that's like your badge of honor. And I just feel like know that about yourself. And then I feel like with the night, again, unexpected, I, I kind of feel like I can let go of the how, the when, and I can instead just think about me and what it is I want to do and what really piques my interest. And, you know, this is maybe something that you've been working on. And now you really start to see the fruits of your labor. Some of you, it's something you're beginning. Um, but the the energy around it is really unlimited and putting you at the top. Um, and I often feel it doesn't matter how many people do it, what you do. Um, it's, it's just saying that, you know, you're the one who's going to reap this benefit. So it just makes perfect sense. And, and then the Six of Swords with the Ten of Wands, right? I know where I've been. I know what I've ever come. You know, I even feel like you can say, I even gave it my all. I don't need to walk away feeling like bad for someone else. And listen, I feel like they'll go on and live their life. This is about you now living your life. Star. Right over the magician. I mean, hello. The ability to manifest. And, you know, sometimes it's just putting those, planting those seeds. <clears throat> You know what I mean? Like plant the seeds, but then willing, to, but then be willing to take like action oriented steps, like guided steps. Like, hmm, something's telling me to go this way. I'd follow that. All right. Okay. I didn't bring in the romance angels. I feel like, I feel like I should. I'm not going to take a lot, but. Give him a cut. Very soon. Look at that. Very soon. Um, my eye was looking at the King of Pentacles and the Lovers. That's where I was looking. I was like, okay, where do I want to take this? But that's where my eyes are at. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Instead of feeling it, maybe I can have it. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Well, you know, that's exactly what I felt. I felt you're being guided, but I also feel like there's someone special helping to guide love, um, but maybe even more than that. But I feel like, yes, definitely say love. Worth waiting for. You know, your experiences and what you've learned from them, they're important. And they may be exactly what you do next. And it can be like related to your experiences and how like you eventually you claim victory. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it, I feel like what it's saying is don't look back at with regret. Look back and just say, look how I have grown. 
Look who I am now. Look, look at who I can be. But anyways, I don't know where that came from other than maybe your guides. So worth waiting for. And here's the Knight of Cups right here. And there's the Ace of Cups. Hmm. And divine timing is at work in your love life. You know what's nice about that? That means you don't have to, again, like, yes, be open, clear the past. Um, but other than that, I feel like what's meant to find you will find you. Look at this wedding. Well, this situation involves marriage. And I'm looking at this king. Who is this king? So, you know, it's interesting because there's the Ten of Pentacles. And underneath all that is unexpected couple fulfillment. And it connects the king again. Again, don't worry about the sign. To me, it means someone who's grounded. Someone who's, um, you know, they may be different than you. But that doesn't make it bad. It could be a good thing. But in no way do I feel like this is someone who holds you back from like doing the things that you want to do, being the person you are. No way do I feel like this person would even consider that because I feel like the opposite. You know, like I'm proud of everything you do. So, you know, it is closing of one door. And it is the opening of a new door. And there's a lot that lies on the opening of this new door. Um, but you, it's you. It's your power. You know, it's you doing the things that you want to do. And I love the divine. It's just like, let me handle your love life. Let me handle it. You know, your, your loved one who has left this earth but is still connected to you is like, I, I'm part of all this. All right. Let's take mother Mary over this. And, you know, and then wed wedding, it means ultimately, I mean, it can mean a literal wedding, um, but ultimately it's, it's true commitment. Can't help that it all feels like it started with those two pages. You know, and some may ask, can this relate to a past life? It could. You know, I would not leave that off the table. Um, because again, I feel like, I feel like for some reason you could feel their energy. And that tells me the connection between the two of you. Again, I may not know exactly what you like. I don't know. I just feel it. Like love is in the air. Every time I turn around. We have quiet. Quiet. You're probably talking to me. I go into peaceful silence and I listen. Listen for those signs. You may see pictures in your mind, visions. Allow your mind to follow them. And then beautiful, watch to over. One of my favorite energies because I feel like we need to be reminded that we are being watched over. We do have this whole spiritual team. They are actively sending us signs, helping to guide us. Um, and it does take our intuition to really trust it. You know what I mean? Watched over. I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life, knowing that heaven is watching over my loved ones and me. Watched over. And that's what I felt with the Hierophant, even though it is card of Taurus, by the way. Um, but, I, but I did feel that as like a loved one watching over you. And 
you know, doing what they can do to help, you know, just, just to help. So, what a reading, Pisces. What a reading. Um, you know, hmm. All of these pentacles in your, this reading. I have a feeling when I do Virgos, I'm going to get a lot of cups. You watch. I'm going to get the opposite. But these pentacles, I feel like they're representing um, success for you. They're representing love for you. Loyalty. Um, like, you know, divine is working in your love life. I mean, you literally had the ace of cups, the king of cups with the Queen of Cups, and then the Queen of Cups coming over that Ace of Cups. And it may be you. It may be how you're feeling. You may be feeling like the Queen of Pentacles that day. But peace, quiet. I go into peaceful silence, and I listen and watch it over. Enjoy your life knowing that you're being watched over and that signs are continuously being sent to you. All right, guys, I love you. What a reading. I, I really loved it. Um, and it's like I can see both sides of the coin, but I feel like it's also giving me a peek at the potential of your future and like, wow. So I know what this means where life can change at, in a blink of an eye. Um, but this feels good, like all good, all like, wow. So it's like a pinnacle. It'll never be forgotten. All right. I love you guys. Thank you. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.